you know? That kid's going to Duke, standing right there. I'll take these two and the rest of the kids in that locker room, and I'll go to battle with anybody in this state. I couldn't be more proud to be sitting on the table with two guys, okay? We're going to bounce. We're going to win games in this tournament. Statement, identify the young man with you, and we'll open it up for Yes, sir. Uh, my name is Charles Harris. I'm the head men's basketball coach at Green Central High School in Snow Hill, North Carolina. To my right, I have a junior forward, Amaje Dodd, uh, number 23. To my left, I have Don Quez Davis, a senior guard, uh, 5'11, both of them from Green Central High School. Always expect to compete uh, otherwise I'm in the wrong profession um, these kids go out and they give it their heart every time they step on the floor there's two things that I demand from them uh, that I don't coach and I refuse to coach is effort uh, and it's hustle and they go out and give that every single night they step on the floor you know we just logistically we need to make a couple changes and, and do a couple things better and you might see a different end of this basketball game but that's a very good basketball team we played and you know that jail in the queue kid is pretty tough. If anybody y'all want to try and guard him, somebody can help me out a little bit. My name is Charles Harris. I'm the head coach at Green Central High School uh, in Snow Hill, North Carolina. To my right, I have Amaje Dodd, junior forward. Uh, to my left, I have Dante Johnson, another junior forward. Um, you know, I thought we played a really good basketball team today. They can spread the wealth. They got a bunch of kids that can play. Um, we matched intensity in that first quarter, and I think second quarter we didn't exactly execute as we should have. We got away out of our offense, but you know. Uh, Trinity did a good job of bumping and, and pushing us off of what we wanted to do, and we allowed it to happen. Um, we got to learn how to not play in peaks and valleys. Um, peaks are good, and valleys are low, but the valleys are too long right now for us to sustain any um, decent basketball for a while.
I think it's very obvious that the level of competition that you're seeing out here is going to be better or greater than equal to anything that we're going to see in the playoffs. And, you know, that's part of the reason why we're here is to make ourselves better. Uh, sometimes it's hard with young kids because they get caught up in wins and losses as to what this means for us in the program. You know, so it's a little tough with these guys getting to understand that we're building and we're building. But, you know, we want to compete. You know, we want to build a program that belongs to being here. And I think as long as we stay here and keep fighting, that's what we're trying to do. The way we learn, we, we, we can play with anybody. You know, it doesn't matter if you rank number one in the state, number one in the nation, we can play with anybody. Getting getting stronger, going up stronger in the paint. Okay. Can I go in on that real quick? Oh, please, please do, sir. One thing is, you know, we're in Snow Hill, North Carolina. I guarantee there might be two of y'all in this room that know where that is in the state. You know, these kids are hitting gyms, and this is what I'm bringing to this program and to this scene. You know, that kid's going to Duke standing right there. I'll take these two and the rest of the kids in that locker room, and I'll go to battle with anybody in this state. That's what this tournament means to me, and that's what it means to us.
Invitational. You finished with 17 points. How were you able to finish the game out? Um, I just wanted to um, play with my team, and my team was able to find me in certain spots, and we just wanted to play together and play hard. How was your experience here at the John Wall Holiday Invitational? Uh, for it being my first time, it was a good experience. Um, we got to play new teams, and we got to see new competitions, so it was a pretty good experience. And for Coach, for you, how what did this win mean to you after a tough loss yesterday? Well, we had two tough losses in a row. I didn't think we played very well yesterday, but it was great to see these kids bounce back, play with a little bit of heart today. I think they did a really good job, and it was a team effort. You know, Quez got in some foul trouble. We had some other kids off the bench really step up. So this is experience that I hope helps us out down the road. All right, congrats on the win. For more content information, follow at John Wall Holiday. Coach, you'll make an opening statement for the identify the young men who are up here with you, sir. Right. We're Green Central High School from uh, Snow Hill, North Carolina. Um, with our first ever victory in the John Wall Tournament. Uh, sitting with me, senior point guard Don Quez Davis, junior forward Amaje Dodd, senior guard Torrance Clark, AKA the tank. Okay. Um, you know, these guys came back today and played with a lot of heart, played with a lot of grit. Um, we had some tough situations. Some balls didn't bounce our way, but you know, that's a testament to who they are who their character is. Uh, they played hard and they deserve everything they got today. We enjoyed the experience here at the John Wall. There's, I've never been a part of anything else. I don't know about you guys, but I've never been a part of any other basketball tournament like it. Okay. I just wanted to be physical and I just wanted to play hard and aggressive. And I want my teammates found me and we played hard and we just wanted to play together and we came all together. I'm going to preface that one because we got to the hotel last night about 7 o'clock and he comes to my room says, Coach, I want him. I said, well, you got him, son. So that's what it is and that's what kind of competitor he is. Uh, that kid, I think he steps in the range once he got off the bus in the parking lot. But, you know, I thought Quez did a good job staying with him. He was a little physical. We worked on his weight room in the spring. So um, we'll try and get him where he needs to be. But I thought he did a great job. I just, I just felt like I, just, I wanted to be the one. Like I wanted to stop him. Like, I like, I seen him playing. I seen him playing other teams, and I seen all the like long shots. And I just wanted to get into him, get into his chest, and make him, make him do something different. It was personal for you. A little bit. That's who he is. 